Okay. So this morning, instead of sketching, just want to do a quick little overview of some books I recommend for sketching. The first one is Rapid Viz by Hanks and Belliston. Uh, this is probably one of the first uh, books I got uh, when learning how to draw in the sort of uh, industrial design, product design, entertainment design uh, style. Um, there's a lot of text in here, which is actually a wonderful text to read if you get around to it, though I know not everyone will want to do that. But there are just uh, the sort of st different styles he goes through to show how to represent things are great. Again, reading all the little points about why and how to do these things is also super important. But if we uh, a little bit of quick perspective, but also if we keep going through here, right, there is like some nice sort of quick sketching type of stuff in here. You know, somewhat based upon some of that perspective that's happening. You know, how to look at ellipses. Um, so this is just, again, to me, it is gold in looking at sketching. It covers uh, so much. So if you're not sure what style you want to do, this is a great place to start. Um, the next book is a little less um, interesting, enjoyable to people most likely. It is basic perspective. Um, when I had a perspective class um, at Art Center, uh, this is the book we had to buy. And then we were sketching things like houses. So again, it also goes through perspective in great uh, detail about, you know, what is a picture plane? How does line of sight work? Rotating objects at an angle and what that means. Again, the picture plane over here, going into even like three point perspective. Um, what else, what else, what else? I mean, it, it gets very, very complex at the end. And this is what would help me eventually like, you know, draw a house in perspective and making sure all the lines were correct. It's a very, again, dense book, but if you take your time going through it, I think it's manageable to learn what's going on in here. And you're gonna know so much after as a result of it. Um, but it is honestly, uh, you know, a, a bit old at this point in time. Old doesn't mean bad, but in terms of the things that people are interested in, maybe a, a little tougher to go through. Uh, that the oldness of it, uh, I think, speaks to the patience required um, to go through it. But it is still, uh, when anyone asks me a question about perspective, that is particularly advanced. Uh, this is what I'm turning to, to uh, find the answers to that question. So fantastic book. Okay, so we're getting to more modern books now, uh, right? The How to Draw by Scott Robertson and Thomas Bertling. Um, it covers pretty much a number of things that these two other books cover, uh, right? But it does have an approach that is slightly more geared towards wealth, vehicles, and environments. It is a very, very dense book, and there's a lot of text, lots of images to help support that text. Um, but it, it can be a little difficult and daunting if you don't have prior experience with perspective, uh, I find. Uh, but I, again, this is something that I go and refer to, particularly in thinking about you know, how to construct different elements of a well of anything you're trying to sketch so here we have trying to do a mirror tilted plane which is a very difficult task but they help to simplify it so anyone can do it creating some grids and let's just keep going about doing some sketching before you do some uh, things in 3d here so uh, this is hands down still probably like if there's one book you buy it would probably be this one uh, if you're interested in, in this style of sketching. Um, this this is the this is the Bible to go to for these topics. Okay. Uh, next, of course, and following along, along with the previous one, how to draw, how to render. So, how does light work? How do you make something look matte? How do you make something look reflective? And how do you do something in between that's kind of shiny? Um, so how to cast shadows, how to get correct values, 
Um, this is, again, just with lots of uh, sample work from various students. Um, how does light reflection work? How does bounce light work? Uh, again, this, again, fantastic for rendering. Uh, it's, it's a slow book. When I say slow, I mean you got to go through every single page. But if you take the time to go through it and build yourself to some of these things that are happening later on at the end of the book, um, you will actually absolutely be able to do it. Um, but don't expect to go through this thing in uh, a day or two. This is, I'm thinking you gotta take your time going through this book over the course of like two months, three months, going through all these exercises and, and practicing. And if you can put that diligence into it, um, you will be able to do this, but I would not come in here and uh, expect that out of, the, out of the box, you're gonna finish this book in a week or anything. Ah, oh, yes, the good Scott Robertson, best book, bringing some chili. Hello, Andreas. Hello, Kamar. Um, so again, uh, there is an updated version of Graphic LA by Rob Ruppel, um, but I actually don't even draw in this style, but I really like it. And so sometimes I, I do a few personal stuff uh, for fun, but I'm nowhere even near just like the simplest things that Rob does here. Um, there's not that much text in this book, which is kind of nice. He, he keeps it pretty simple and straightforward in terms of letting the visuals speak for him themselves. Um, but he does add some text that helps to explain you know, what he's going for. But the biggest thing is if we move along here, like where how he has kind of, again, a, a how to in so much as uh, the shapes and how he's building them up. And, you know, if you look at the final and you see, you look at this, you're like, oh my God, that's a photo. But then you get very, very close and it's, no, it's not a photo. It's just, he's got enough for, of the right proportions on the page and the right color balance on the page that, you know, our eyes trick us into thinking that is a photo. But he's he started so simply. And while, again, I cannot do anything close to what he's doing here, you know, just this little piece of information has helped me improve my sketching or not my sketching my sort of painting um, so that I feel a lot more confident with it okay a year together for me the instructions in each have some nice steps that are making I find read the excellence before it teach them yeah yeah the um, the uh, yeah these two are, like I'd say are are super dense so it is whether you're using them to learn or even to help yourself teach. I teach, and again, like I said, they are useful to come back and use as reference. Um, but back to Graphic LA again, it's just wonderful. Like in all the little, I you know I love this right. The, he's mostly doing digital stuff, but how he's bringing in the hand, what you do by hand, just to remind you, you know, how quick and simple it can be. Uh, again, he's got an updated version of this book, a, a newer one. That is fantastic. I love uh, RuPaul's work. All right, um, so I got three more books here. They are all by, I'm going to uh, mess up his name, not intentionally so, Marcos Mateo Mestre. Um, I'm not sure if I said that correctly. Um, we're we'll actually start with the perspective ones, frame perspective one and perspective two. Um, it's just kind of a, a different take to perspective than, uh, than how to draw. Um, but I got it to see his take. He is, I believe, a, um, oh no, I'm gonna get it, it wrong, the type of work he does. Um, like a keyframe artist, I believe, for animation or something. Um, but either way, again, how he can have a very dynamic sketch down here, but you can see the sort of perspective that it's based upon. Uh, so again, it's just a, a very dense, um, just like the how to draw and everything else. But um, if you take the time and go through it, it is uh, wonderful as far as all the things you'll learn from it. So he does a lot of computer aided stuff here, and there's nothing wrong with that uh, because you know he does when he ends up sort of sketching over them, right? He adds that sort of flair and style of like the hand touch over, right? All that uh, computer aided. Uh, perspective, which is absolutely how people 
uh, work in the industry, which is to, you know, the, the goal is to get the job done rather than just uh, do beautiful work for the sake of it itself. There, there is a point here that they're trying to get to, so they're using whatever tools make sense. Um, it is my belief that it, it makes the most sense to try and learn via doing things by hand at first, and then when you practice uh, and you have a little more experience, then do things uh, with the computer. If you start with the computer, you will sort of get, you start to treat that as a crutch, um, and in terms of helping yourself with straight lines and things like that, but if you can do things by hand, uh, then you can absolutely do them in computer. And lastly is uh, framed drawing techniques. Um, and also by Marcus Mateo Mestre. And you know what I like here is he's got the different tools that you can use. And even though I have not, I've not read all of this book. What I appreciate is you know sort of going through the style of each of them and kind of how to approach it. Uh, myself, I am not a person who um, who uses pencil too much, but if I had ever had any questions about it, I would absolutely come and, and check his book out first uh, because just again the variety of all the things he's doing here. Um, you know, I, I love the pen hatching style. Um, that's definitely for me over the pen. But uh, the important thing is right that it sort of exposes you to these different techniques and how to use them. Um, yeah, like I said, frame perspective is, 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 is super fun. Um, like I said, if I can't find the answer in one of the other perspective books, I'll come look for it here, but on top of, uh, looking for an answer, um, in a book, it's also just nice to have references for people who are interested in like slightly, uh, different styles of sketching. And, and, a pro and applications. So a few uh, bonus books about um, sketching that I'd recommend. Grab these here. All right, so these are not um, how to draw books uh, in any way but they offer again references to look at and to be inspired by volume one or volume two i would say would, i would start with volume one and if you like it get volume two later if you're not wanting to spend all your money at once okay uh, so, start your engines, collection of uh, surface vehicle sketches and renderings from the draw through collection. And these are like early sketches from Scott when he first started teaching. And uh, what's really nice about them is like all, again, all the construction and the work that he's doing inside of them. I believe, you know, he mentions this in the book here, but this was done like on a giant roll of paper just to prove um, that even if you make a mistake, you have to sort of make those work because on a giant roll of paper, you can't, uh, it, uh, you know, tear out or erase or, or remove that page. Um, but yeah, just wonderful sketches, right? Super simple forms, um, but then making them more complex with some subtle curvatures, with some additional details. You know, even though I believe these came, I forget what the order is on the books. I think. If I don't remember if this came first or the how to draw came first. By the way, I and they work as someone as a companion together. You know, he has lots of handwork in here, lots of digital work. So it's just a fun reference to have, you know, for all these different vehicles, mostly ground vehicles. Um, so start your engine. Um, we'll get to this in a moment. Uh, he's got these two books as well. Uh, I this one might be harder to find. But again, why I love it is because it's just like all these little rough sketches from him. So it's a super small, tiny book, um, but it's got all these rough sketches from Scott. And like, again, I don't know, is it 60 or, or, or 20 pages back in front? So this is a fun one to recommend. Uh, here's the uh, volume two of that sketch collection. Um, this came out oof, in 2019. 2018, 
uh, 17. Right? So it didn't come out too long ago in comparison to some of the other books. But again, it's just full of a lot of great sketches. Uh, again, lots of things done by hand. Those are some things he takes and you know puts uh, digitally. You can find a lot of these books. Sorry, a lot of the images from here online uh, on say like his art station. But there is just something really nice about holding a book in your hand and flipping through it over looking at it on a screen, whether it's your iPad, your tablet, your your computer. It, I find looking at images in person, like physically, uh, to be a lot more inspiring than having it. Um, so if you have the ability to buy a book, um, it's nice to have that in your collection. So also here, like the art of Spider-Man uh, into the Spider-Verse, that movie was just so groundbreaking in its uh, animation and all the things they did to the animation. The artists on there, a lot of them seem to be uh, geniuses. You know, one of them, uh, Lon Bing, the Heavy Poly online, started making a app to do some, uh, what's it called? The painting. When you're out there, you're painting things from life. Uh, can't remember what it is right now, uh, but like, wow, that's bad for me on my end. But of painting, and so just what I love about the book here is is reading this book. I I've read all of it um, because just going through all their process of coming up with everything they did here, their process of iteration, their process of uh, things they were attempting to do with a, a number of the images here to see you know some of the image the ideas that didn't make it into the movie as much as the ideas that did make it into the movie. So this book, again, I find super just inspiring to look at uh, for uh, references. So yeah, in, in lieu of doing any sort of sketches this morning, I just wanted to cover some books because this is something I wanted to do for a while for this. And then I do have a, a number of books for considering more for product designers, but also for some organic uh, inspiration, but I'll cover that in a different stream, maybe uh, tomorrow. Uh, I hope this was useful to anyone who came by, and have a good day, everybody.